welcome to my grow room. I hope you haven't forgotten about my channel. I'm still alive. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been two or three months since I last posted a video, but look at my coffee. Look at this coffee. Uh, I don't know how I can do it. I've been talking to a, a few friends and they say it's kind of weird trying to grow trees in hydroponic, but uh, so far <laughs> it's a great success. So I'm just going to continue doing that because it, it really works. I'm going to show you my guava and my banana uh, plant also. The banana is in soil, but the guava is in water also. And I, I don't know how far I can take it. Uh, I don't know. That's not the point of this video. This video is hopefully, hopefully a short video. I'm just wanted to show off this thing here. It's, uh, it's going to be a, a few videos on this setup. Uh, many of you probably already grow in, um, like the inspiration is from the hydro or what is it called? The aero garden. I think it's called the miracle grow aero garden or something. And um, I thought, well, that's kind of an expensive thing. So why don't I just make my own, <laughs> which of course is going to cost me time and five times the, <laughs> the money I would pay for, for the device itself. But I'm, I'm, I'm um, a man of, of different interests and I'm a programmer by profession and uh, I've been getting into hardware the last couple of years and uh, this was really a project, the, the, the first true project where I could combine my, um, my adventurous ideas about doing hardware, combine that with software development and also gardening. And that's just, that's just the perfect combination. So this is what I've been working on the last three, three months or so. I've been on and off with this project and uh, I finally have a prototype up and running. It's been uh, 3D printed by myself and I've designed the lighting panel. I also made a, <laughs> a few more. I'm gonna get you in and show you some close-ups, but uh, this is also, this is the lighting panel that's inside here. It's about a 100 watt lighting panel with some cool diodes. And I'm going to use this for, for my seed starting this year. It's, I think we're about uh, two or three weeks away from me starting my peppers at least. And I'm going to use four of these panels for those. So um, I'm gonna do a separate video on that. But this is just, just a video to, to show off the initial project. Um, I'm not going to do anything detailed about this. If you would like to see some detailed video about how I made it or some technical stuff about it, just let me know down in the comments and I will most definitely do that. But I don't want to bore people with, with technical details if it's not interesting. So the, the idea for this is... Um, um, I think I'm, I'm going to put this up on the table and get, get you in a little bit closer to, to see what's really going on here. But the idea for this is to have a container, fill it with water and nutrients and place plants inside of these uh, cups. And I'm going to use Rockwell cubes. And the reason why it's squared is that my cubes are squared. So I, I designed by the way that I, I would like to use it myself. And I, of course, have an air pump inside the unit and uh, everything is controlled via Wi-Fi. So this one shows up on your local network and, and it will, will just uh, be a, a page with settings and everything. So, yeah, uh, it's not going to be too technical. It's, it's just a, a show off. And um, I'm going to, I have already started some seeds and what's going to be more interested in, in interesting is to see how things grow in this unit because I'm soon in a couple of days I'm going to transplant some seedlings into this setup and I'm going to start it and I'm going to film everything. Yes, I am going to film everything because this is something that I've been working so hard on making and uh, I, I 3D printed the whole thing and uh, yeah, let me just reset the camera and uh, we can take a closer look at what this thing is. We have the whole thing a little bit closer now and uh, the parts here are basically this is the plate where the growing medium is going in and as you can see I have already started this is uh, spinach I think and the idea is to place these into the netting cups well they're not netting but it's still cups 
And I've designed those so they will exactly provide placement for the size of this Rocco cube. This is the water reservoir and um, of course we have some air stones. These are not shortened and uh, everything is going to be <laughs> a little bit better once I get started. But I haven't, I haven't really tried this unit before so I just, just bear with me. <laughs> I'm going to do some debugging and some testing while I go along. Up here we have the lighting panel and we have a fan and temperature sensor and it's all, all controlled. So the fan will be adjusted, um, the speed of the fan will be adjusted by the controller in the, in the base based on the temperature. So in the bottom, down here, we have the, the main electronic unit. I have the LED driver and I have a power supply and I have made a custom board with a microcontroller that controls the, of course, uh, you can regulate the brightness of the LEDs. And I also have um, a sunrise sunset feature that I made that um, when you power on the unit and it's supposed to turn on say at seven o'clock in the morning, it will start at seven o'clock on the lowest setting and the LED panel will get uh, brighter, brighter, brighter up to full uh, or, or set full brightness uh, within an hour or half an hour or 20 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever you choose. And um, the reason for that is that if, you're, <laughs> if, if I'm going to have this somewhere I'm going to be around, I would like to have it gradually go up in brightness. And, I don't know, I don't know, I, I, just, I just feel like plants would also appreciate those uh, or, or the gradual uh, rising of the brightness. And this one is going, this reservoir is going to be filled with water and it took me a lot of time and tries to get this 3D printed so it will actually be watertight uh, and also rigid enough so I want it to be stiff enough to be able to, to, to really use this as a, as a functional unit and not having to be limited by all these types of quirks that often come with 3D printing. And it, <laughs> this is actually the first, first thing I've ever tried to, to 3D model. So <laughs> I kind of, uh, I got the 3D printer and I kind of used a lot of time trying to to figure out uh, the software and everything. So I went through a lot of revisions on this before I, I ended up with this design. And I, I kind of think it looks, uh, looks decent, looks halfway decent. The um, arm which the LED panel is, is placed on is uh, also uh, adjustable. So you can raise and lower it. And um, it's, it's okay. I would say it's okay. It's working okay. <laughs> and uh, the thing is that um, I, I wanted to be able to have some, some sort of mechanical arm so, so I would be able to, to raise and lower it. Because as the plants grow, you would like to, to have this higher, of course. And if you're growing, let's say, a pepper, I'm, I'm thinking about printing a type of cover like this uh, with only one big hole or large hole in the middle for let's say a pepper plant. So you could raise, raise this all the way up and um, it, it, will, it will go to decent heights. And uh, you will be able to grow a, a small tomato or a pepper or something, or I'm saying you, it's of course me, <laughs> because this is a, a, a one-time unit. Well, I'm making another one and I'm going to send it to a friend. So, so maybe you will see, uh, see more of this, <laughs> of this design in the future from, from um, somebody else. And here is the LED panel. I've created this, I designed it myself and I assembled everything. I got the, the boards made in China. And of course I, I made all the electronics for it and tested it and um, it works really nice. And the, the only thing that I have tried so far was to just start the light and see if the light was working. And I had um, a salad, uh, a small salad that I was um, was using here in the grow room and um, it was it was used to having bright lights uh, really bright lights but once I put it in here and I juiced this up to 100% uh, brightness it, it just fried <laughs> the whole salad it was just gone in a day so I, I've found by by just just placing some some salads under, under underneath the grow light that I about 60% brightness uh, at max, 
and that's that's really close to the edge of of what's uh, possible with this thing. So um, yeah, this is a, a first look at my DIY <laughs> grow grow stand or hydroponic station or whatever you want to call it. Um, you're gonna see more in the, of this in the future, and uh, I will probably have better things to say about it or or more detailed things to say about it once I get started with it and uh, see if it actually works. I have no idea. <laughs> so it's gonna be a learning curve and I there's there's a, a USB uh, <laughs> adapter here or um, um, cable. And of course I have my programming <laughs> uh, port going in there. So yeah, this is a work in progress and uh, it's hopefully gonna be something that would be really, really fun to, to play around with in the future. So stay tuned for that. And uh, now I think I just need to show you a couple of my plants before we uh, take part this time, okay? I think I'm gonna need to zoom out a little bit to show you my full guava. It is just growing like mad. I <laughs> I really wasn't expecting something like this from, from this plant. It's growing in hydro and uh, the, the, <laughs> the barrel looks so tiny <laughs> compared to this huge, huge monster of a bush now. I like um, a month ago or something I really had to cut it all the way down almost all the way down and the reason for that was that I left my barrel unintended and um, the supply barrel just ran out of water so it didn't backfill and the whole plant was was looking like it was going to die actually it was it was just shriveling up and, and um, yeah drying up wasn't looking too good but I cut it back and I was just hoping that it would recover and oh boy did it recover. It is, it is growing so large now. And um, I would say it's about two meters wide. It is, it's just enormous. I was thinking about doing a, a video like, like the, the one I did on... Um, I've done one on my olive tree and I've done some others like meet my, meet my guava or whatever. And um, if this is interesting, just let me know down in the comments. And I'm, I, I think I'm gonna do it anyway because uh, a lot of people really like those focused videos on uh, on a single plant or tree in this uh, instance. So the next th one that I wanna show you, I just, yeah. This look, looks dead, it's my fig. Uh, it just, once I repotted it, I, I got it last summer and uh, repotted it, dropped all the leaves. And that's happened to me several times before. And it's not dead at all, but I'm hoping that it will recover. And, oh, it was a little bit bright on the lights there. This is the banana. Uh, it's the super dwarf Cavendish. It's growing, it's growing well, I would say. <laughs> it has been putting out some pups all the way around here. And I would like to get rid of those because, yeah, yeah. I think the, the plant is going to do better without. But I just don't have the heart to do it. <laughs> they just look so nice. And the main plant, it's, it's growing phenomenally. It's putting out leaves now. And I have some brown on the leaves. And that's just because I was really underwatered it in, in the beginning. Uh, a few leaves back. I didn't water as much as I should. It really needs water every single day. So I'm going to get better with, with taking care of this plant because... Uh, yeah, it's starting to look like a banana plant again, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it just brings back the memories from the last huge one that I had. This one is not going to be as tall at all, but it's going to be more bushy, and it's going to look really, really nice. The other things here, nah, this one, it's it's reaching the lights, so I need to cut it down. Um, this is called the um, rubber fig. Yes, I have the variegated and the regular green. And also just to show show off my coffee, this is this is just phenomenal. It is so waxy or, or shiny. The, the leaves are just it just looks fake, <laughs> but it's not. I'll promise you, it's not. And uh, I'm a little bit worried. It looks so tiny the the stem on this, but it really holds up and uh, it's it's sturdy. So um, hopefully it will survive. And there's some other things down there. Okay, I'm going to <laughs> quit now while they're still rolling the camera. And um, I'll see you again, uh, hopefully, really soon. Okay, 
This is Christopher saying, may the force be with you. Bye-bye.